Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of Star Lord of the Rims. When we last left off, we had just established our little village here on uh, a bog end. That's what we were calling it. And I skipped ahead a few hours and was doing a bit of planning before coming back into this episode. And I also fixed the issue with uh, Gundolf. Turns out I'd accidentally spawned him in as a... Uh, what did I spawn him in as? A reanimated corpse, that's what it was, so, yeah, that kind of, that kind of caused some issues, but, you know. Also, he has a lightsaber, our brave Gundalf, but he, he needs a crystal for it. So, he's got a sword, but he can't really use it. Not right now. Also, yeah, let's, uh, kind of lower priorities here. Or, no, you st keep your priorities, you go down. And, yeah. And we're slowly building up here. I'm not... The one thing I'm not sure of yet is whether I can fit another house here. You know, of the road existing in this particular location. So, with that in mind, let's actually measure that out. I mean, this is... 9. So, if we count... This wall right here. Yeah. Okay, so unless we have like a really small house, we can't fit another one right here. Though I guess if I just kind of move things around a little. Eh, I don't know. We could turn this into some kind of shed or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I mean, that's just how it is. Or this could be like a little, uh,. I don't know, a little outdoor gathering area. We will see. I also think it's probably a mistake to be building like actual like toilets and showers and stuff here when we don't really have water yet, but I kind of just want to put this in here just for the sake of just for the sake of having something. All right, so yeah, we'll link everything to to Han's bed here, so that that way we all know that it's it's his bedroom. Similar thing we'll do with Gundalf over here once we've built up his home. And I'm actually thinking this is like our, our dumping stockpile right now, but I might turn this into our, I don't know, like a central production room thing. Or maybe even the guest house. I'm not sure yet. Oh, and... Somehow we've got this axe that's got out here. Hey, when you're done, yeah, go uh, go drag that back if you don't mind. Anyway, what else do we got going on in here? We've picked up a bit of iron wood. We have dirty floor still. The plumeria is plumerying. And yeah, this is all cleared out because it's not really what we want. We've got Gulliver. We've got Miriam. I mean, so far... Things are good. I guess we're also going to want to build a bridge at some point. But, um... Well, I mean, there's a bridge here, so I suppose... We don't strictly need a bridge. But then again, we might want more bridges so that we can, um... You know, have more access. And what do you want to bet the middle of this is going to have, like, an overhead mountain thing? We might be able to do something with this to uh, create, like, um... An insect farm slash trap so that we can eventually farm insect jelly later. Let's put that on the back burner as like something cool, but not uh, not an immediate priority. I mean, basically right now, yes. We just gotta make sure we're ready to deal with those dang dirty pirates. Oh yeah, and there's plenty of steel on this map. Well, at least there's plenty of steel right here. I don't know if the map in general has plenty of steel and components. We didn't get any components to start with, so that's gonna hinder some of our efforts, but not all of them. Also, also, another important thing to think about is power, yes. And, I mean, since we're on the river, we're gonna want water power, so I guess we also probably want to build ourselves a nice little researchy benchy thing. Yeah, I'll just kind of like stick that right there for now and 
Oh. A dwarven adventurer from the Dwarven Hill clans is passing by. His name is Leary. Kind of nice we got a little bit of music with him, but all right. So you are a dwarven adventurer. You also have the force, apparently. Interesting. I don't suppose... Uh... Oh, and he's also a cannibal. I don't suppose we could um, recruit you. Would you like to join us, Leary? We've got cookies, or at least we would if I had a mod that added cookies to the game. Because then you know I'd just be cooking like a million of those. For obvious reasons. Oh, nice. We've managed to tame a muffalo. Awesome. Now we have ourselves a little pack animal that we can work with. That's good. We're finishing up uh, our, our coffee here. Though it does occur to me maybe it might have been even more useful if I had instead, you know, grew some hops so we can get some beer going here. Ah, well, you know, these are... You know, I'm noticing a bit of lag. That's troublesome. Do I have anything running in the background that's eating up my processing power? I don't... I don't think so. But we'll want to keep an eyeball on that. Maybe I just have too many mods. That could be it. Need to do some upgrades to the old uh, CPU or something. You know, it does occur to me, I could allow... Um... I could allow what? What could you allow? Gaslight? I could allow us to cook with fertilized eggs. That is a thing that we could do. Let's see. Uh, let's maybe keep making cram until we have... I don't know, 240, that sounds about right. And then we'll uninst- or, yeah, start cooking again later, we'll... Let's say only people four or better can cook cram. And we will allow... Yeah, no insect meat. Oh, I can't actually use fertilized eggs in this anyway. Okay, and uh, let's see, simple meals, there we go. Cook them in bulk where we can, do until you have, say 80. Pause that, we'll also say four or better, just to minimize the odds of bad things happening. And yeah, we'll use fertilized eggs, not insect jelly though. Oh, I suppose I should tick don't allow rotten, that doesn't, Eh, what the heck. We will allow it. Seems reasonable. Anyway, yeah, we'll we'll get back to that later. I don't wanna, wanna overthink things too much here, because we don't really want chicken eggs, like or we don't want a lot of chicken eggs, I guess, is um more accurate part of that. Boy, we do need a lot of wood. So, let's uh, let's continue ordering to chop at it. Especially around here, in the, uh, the pasture. That way we have more room for grass to show up. I mean, with that logic, I should probably also say, hey, uh, get rid of... Get rid of, like, any bushes and stuff here. But bushes grow things, so we'll, you know, we'll leave that for now. And we'll just kind of... Now figure things out. Don't sleep during the day, my friend. No daytime sleeping, please. Ah, look at that. It's becoming all nice and green and lively. Exactly what we want. We're also apparently like semi-vegetarians here. My goodness, there is a lot of life on the map, though. You know what? Let, let's hunt one Mega Sloth. That should be enough to... To take care of things. Also, uh, salt pots. That's something. Salted pot. There we go. We'll just, uh, stick a couple of those in here. Probably not enough to store all the 
the mega sloth meat will inevitably encounter, but you know. Ooh, visitors. Uh, no guest beds. Right, I'll refuse until we have guest beds. So, you know, all the more... All the more reason to get on top of that. Nice job, Gundelf. Oh, I don't actually have anywhere to keep the dead bodies. That could be a problem. Alright, allow uh, everything but human corpses, please. Goons, waste. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need a place to store our waste at some point, aren't we? Yeah, don't consume his corpse. That would be less ideal. Also, that fur is good, because then we'll hopefully be able to start creating uh, carpets and stuff so that we don't... Or not carpets, but... Um, doormats so that we don't track all the dirt and garbage into our houses or at least we can limit you know how much of it is hanging around there also just putting some pack dirt here eventually I'm gonna upgrade these these dirt roads with um, some sort of uh, paved road but that'll have to wait until we get time to make stone and I guess uh, we could actually focus on am I looking for here? Stone cutter's table, yeah. Just like, uh, stick that in there. God, we need so much wood to get anything done as I have lamented many a time now. Ooh, what is that? A ro oh, right, right, right. We went over this with Rontos. Is that they're described as pack animals, but the game doesn't treat them as pack animals, and all I can think of is what the heck's up with that man. Also, who is our best crafter? That would be Botto. So his sister Bell, because they're brother and sister, I kind of forgot to mention that. Also, why Bell 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 Boggins? I I don't know, I just you know, we didn't have any female characters and my brain failed me when coming up with a, a punny name of like, you know, someone from either the Lord of the Rings or Star Wars uh, Hello, hello, hello. You know, I almost forgot about you. What's that? You want me to burn things? Well, I don't know. They might not like me if I do that. Anyway, let's see. A mysterious upright standing block of stone. It has an insidious aura. That's right. We're going to need a temple now, my friends. We're going to need a church to um, whatever god we we normally worship. I mean, normally I go with uh, you know having some uh, culty stuff. For uh, Shub Niggerath, the mother of the woods, or mother of a thousand young, black goat of the woods, something, 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 thousand young, something, something, something. Anyway, yeah, a lot of good stuff. I mean, great person, totally wonderful personality. Definitely doesn't eat her own children. What is this? Botto has no memory of the writing that is still slightly dampened from the sweat of their labors. It is a ghastly book filled with a strange alien language that is not readily understood. The ominous-looking diagrams of ritual sacrifices and spells within the tomb, or tome, has some colonists unnerved by its occult nature, whereas others have proposed setting up a proper research center to further study the secrets held within. And meanwhile, Botto is about to go absolutely apeshit crazy. Holy balls, that is... I have looked upon all that the universe has to hold of horror, and even the skies of spring and the flowers of summer must ever afterward be poison to me. Oh well, at least it doesn't last that long. So, yeah. It drags our mood down, but fortunately... Fortunately, we don't have to worry too terribly much here. Yowzers. All right. Stuff is going reasonably well, though I'm gonna have to look up, see what is causing some of these issues, because it's gotta be maybe too many mods. Let's see here. Yes, what are we gonna call ourselves? The Telor Autonomous Pact. I don't think so. Um, I don't have a good name right now, but I can just dev mode the option to rename our faction later. So, um, you know what? I'll leave it up to you guys. We'll, we'll be Southeastern Yasia for now, but... 
leave a suggestion down in the comments and I will see what we can do. Also, it occurs to me, we need a study. A good study of some kind, but in order to do that, go under recreation. Well, at least we can make a gramophone once we get some components anyway. Uh, some scenic benches so we can like sit and enjoy the marvels of nature. Or, actually, I kind of like the idea of just having like some benches out here. Even have, um, yeah, and have the stone wall go here, maybe fit a little gate in there. Yeah, like a little wooden gate and then stone. It's going to be great and fantabulous. Ooh, a tablet. A stone chisel tablet telling of an event that occurred in the colony. We'll save that for later. Right now, though, we mostly want to focus on making blocks. We'll say do until you have... That might be too many. Let's say 1,200 for now. In fact, instead, we'll just, you know... Yeah, properly do it that way. And then, whoop. Then you can unpause when we're at 600. Beautiful. All right. Jolly good. So yeah, now we'll hopefully start making some blocks, which will in turn allow us to actually start um, building some stone structures and protecting ourselves. Botto is still kind of going crazy. Actually, wait, hang on a second. Where is the the sanity need? That is something that should exist in, since we've got all the Lovecraft mods on. Maybe it does exist, but we've got like too many custom uh, or modded in needs, like just the existence of first, for instance. In fact, I might get rid of first. I mean, bladder and hygiene is all right. First is okay, but we don't really get any bonuses for actually being like not thirsty. You know what? Yeah, let's uh, go under mod settings. And we'll turn off, we'll turn first off. There we go. Uh, assuming that doesn't break things by turning it off midway through. Nope, it doesn't, but we still don't have a visible sanity need, huh? I'm curious about that one. Oh well, we'll worry about these things later. Ah, oh, you defecated it in the river. That's that's gross, man. Oh yeah, we need some research in here. All right, so what is the first thing we want to research? Oh boy, a little uh, getting a little packed in here, isn't it? But there's a mod for that too. Anyway, let's uh, let's start with the old water mill generator. Get that all nicely researched up. And yeah, we've got our occult grimoire. All right, so we just need a hundred wood. I I think I think if I don't build the occult station, we won't actually form a cult automatically. Pretty sure that's how it works. So, though I could be wrong. I have been wrong before, and I will probably be wrong again. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, my friends. Also, let's put a door on this. So we actually get a ceiling going. This is some nice music. It's, uh, what is this from? The P music mod, I think it's called, if I'm not misremembering. Like a bunch of, uh, fan made music inspired by Rimworld. And all, and it has like a, a noticeably different kind of tone to it, but it's still quite nice. Quite nice, I would say. I actually think I might want to extend these, um,. I'm probably going to rework some of these rooms, make them perhaps slightly bigger. Actually, maybe not. I, don't, I won't necessarily need to do that because my reasoning behind that is because I want to build uh, writing desks. Oh, and we could build a telegraph. Telegraph allows communication with remote traders as well as ever factions for trade and diplomacy. So that's pretty cool. We can build ourselves a little telegraph office. Oh, and bunker spot. Let's uh, let's make the bunker spot here so that, excuse me, if anything should go wrong, our colonists can hide in here in order to defend themselves. And Botto is again... No, there's got to be a sanity thing here that I'm just not seeing because his mental breaks uh, threshold is considerably higher 
than everyone else. I can't see it for whatever reason. Of course, that could just be some other mod interfering with, uh, yeah, with what we've got here. Hmm. Oh, and we've got a mad rat. Oh boy. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe it's the realistic darkness mod? Does that add some weather effects that might be a bit more uh, CPU intensive than what we're used to? Maybe I'll turn that one off. Oh boy, yeah, that, that's that gotta be it, because the game's reduced to a crawl. Well, at least we learn now, so that, you know, that doesn't become a thing later. Alright, good times. Actually, I guess with, uh, with the lag where it's at right now, uh, perhaps I will cut this episode a little early. And we'll come back in next time, I'll disable the Realistic Darkness mod, and that will hopefully solve some of our, some of our issues here, my goodness. Too many mods, man. Too many mods. Anyway, as always, thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.